Hello. No. I can't get to this to get this off my face. Uh oh. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Let me see if I can get this back without jacking anything up. Standard, come back. Okay. Hello. All right. Well, hmm. there we go. Got it. Hi. <laughs> oh, here we go. Hi, everybody. Sorry, it took me a second. Can you all hear me? There we go. Can't see your video. Can't see me. You should be able to see me. Sorry, I try to pop in a little bit early. Hi, happy Wednesday. Uh, how are you all? It is Wednesday and I'm here. Sorry, I was sharing it. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Kathy. Hi, everybody. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Bron. Hi, Hitomi. Darlene. Linda. Oh, my God. Linda, do you know why I look so relaxed today? <laughs> Oh, hi, Sherry. Thank you for saying I look good, sound good, feel good, good. Bambi, Marianne, Kathy, Cecilia. This is great. Fantastic. We are going to draw, but I'm going to talk for the first couple of minutes. Why? Because I can. Um, hi, Gretchen, Betsy, Marianne, Susan, Carol. Ah, okay. I'm glad I don't get nervous anymore. I mean, I do, but... Um, so, what? yeah, okay, I had a good vacay, hi Deb, um, I was only away for one night, two blissful days, and it was really a staycation in my own town, I got to go to the ocean, which, uh, I am a water girl, if I am around water, sea water, and floating in water, I have to literally be in that water. So the temperature wasn't so conducive for swimming, but didn't matter to me. And yes, I full on dove in, went in. There were not a lot of people except for surfers in dry suits, which if a surfer is wearing a dry suit, means it's cold. But anyway. Um, oh, April, I'm so glad. I should have just stood there and let you guys, like, I should have time-lapsed it, but my phone was going dead. So, um, a couple of laundry items. Uh, I posted that I will be live on the Art Supply Warehouse Facebook page on Friday and was brought to my attention that the graphic says Saturday at 2. It is Friday at noon Pacific time. I will go in and change that. It was uh, not my mistake. I just didn't see the date that they gave me. But they confirmed with me Friday at noon. So thank you for those who... Um, uh, brought that to my attention. I just assumed they had it right because I'm not a proofreader. So, uh, that's, I, my mind doesn't, my mind sees what it wants to see or sees what it was typed. I didn't make the graphic. So it is Friday at noon Pacific time. So for those of you who are looking for a demo, we are going to be making this. We are going to be making postcards. Jelly Arts, these are postcards that I made, and we are going to recreate something very similar to this. I don't even know how much time they gave me, but oh well. I'll, uh, oh, I'm looking, I'm seeing all my water, my water people. Yeah, thank you, Estella. I think it was you who brought it to my attention that it was confusing, and it was confusing because it was wrong. Anyway, um, so we'll be recreating those, uh, if you were wondering. Okay. So you might be wondering what I really want to talk about, but um, here's the thing. I've been making wine glasses right there. That's like one of like several batches so far. And I'm selling them at the Art and Wine Festival. Well, I went and, because I get so excited, I went and posted them. And a lot of people were like, how did you make those? I want to order them. So all of those need to be shipped out or being picked up. I don't have them for the Art and Wine Festival. 
good problem to have. I'm not complaining. I'm quite happy about that. And um, I guess people are giving them as gifts to other people. So that was kind of nifty. Uh, thank you so much. I have a, about four people picking them up tomorrow. So I will be painting wine glasses tonight. That got me thinking. For those of you who don't live nearby or didn't want them shipped, you can make your own. So I made a workshop out of it. And this is the deal. I'm pre-releasing said workshop now at a reduced rate of $35. Okay, it's reduced. Next week, it goes up. All right, um, I've signed up. I watched the materials, waiting for the glass paint to arrive. Perfect, so people already ordered. I got on my membership today. My tribe gets a discount. That's part of perk of being one of my members of your artful journey. If you are not part of your artful journey and you wanna be on the wait list, you're gonna to wanna to be on the wait list because on October 28th, shh, something's happening on that day to wait list members only. So don't worry if you're already a member. Don't even say to me, what is on the wait list? No. So I'm getting lots of hearts. It was just eliminating the question. I used to teach workshops all over the world and I'm going to, um, I made that a class uh, because, oh, people already signed up. Yeah, I'm making that a workshop because there were so many questions. That's awesome. I want to share. I want to be teaching again, and I want to be all over the world. However, it's just not feasible, and quite honestly, I really don't want to travel right now. So um, if you are not a member of your Artful Journey, get on the wait list, which is at the end of that post that I just posted. Um, you can get in there or you can just go to youratfuljourney.com and get on the wait list. Um, <laughs> uh, there we go. Um, so just get on my wait list and it's, you, you don't have to sign up for anything. Remember with me, you never have to sign up for anything. You can just show up on Wednesday and this is how I make a living. So thank you for supporting me. Thank you for supporting what I love so much because you are the ones who make it possible for me to do what I'm doing, okay? But I do still have to pay the mortgage. It's such a crazy, inconvenient thing. But yeah, my mortgage company does not uh, appreciate me not paying the mortgage. It's something weird, bank, I don't know, repossession. Kidding, I've never had that conversation. Um, you are welcome for the workshop. So. When you sign up for the workshop, you don't even need to ask me right now what kind of paints, what kind of this, what color, la 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 la. Everything is covered and included in the workshop. And this week, it's $35. It will not be $35 next week. Good? Good. Okay, I think I answered all the questions. And I'll just keep posting the link and maybe um, Ann could throw it in there. Um, if you want to order the wine glasses, when the Art and Wine Festival is over, if I have wine glasses left, but let me just tell you, I actually really love to paint them. So, um, I will be selling them. But I never know if I'm going to have like 30 left over, 50 left over, or one, or orders for 12. But it was funny because I shared them last week. I went to the winery. I got an order for flamingos, sugar skulls, uh, something illegal, but that's legal in um, California, which I did say I probably cannot paint those, but they are a leafy substance and are floral in nature. <laughs> um, Donna just said, I would love to do this workshop live in a vineyard near me. Me too. And I don't think that forever in a day, I do not think forever in a day that this is going to be the case. And I'm already thinking retreats. I'm thinking I'm going to Oklahoma next May. So I am not thinking we're going to be inevitably doing this and I'll be able to go back out. And this way I'll be able to go do stuff, okay, with you guys. So I'm open to ideas. Um, uh, let's see, how do I know that I'm on the wait list? I think I registered. <laughs> I don't know the answer to that. <laughs> Just go in and put your email in there again. I don't remember. I don't know. Oh, my God. Yes, it is medicinal. <laughs> Got a few. 
people asking me about that. So um, I am not complaining. Uh, anything you hear me say or do, oh my God, I'm going to Oklahoma too, Janet. I will be there in May. Okay. That's not a requirement for you to sign up my, for my class, but if you don't sign up for my class, then I'll just hunt you down and I really will. Christina Wood knows that I really will hunt you down. I will find you and I will make you physically go sign up for the class. I'm kidding. I won't. Um, but if you think that I'm not like this, like if you think this is just me right here, <laughs> no. Um, will you post Oklahoma details ahead of time? I'm in Kansas and can probably drive there. Sherry, it's Oklahoma painting Palooza. And absolutely, I would love to see every single person there. What's even better, it was supposed to be now. I think I'm supposed to be literally painting a, or teaching a class like right now. Can you do a quick show of the glasses? Yes. And let me get a little more light on the subject. You know, this timing right now is getting so weird where it's like, do I put the lights on? Do I not put the lights on? Do I? Uh, I don't know what I do. I need to get like big studio lights, but you have no idea how she really is. <laughs> okay. So watch me drop. I'll be so, today I was carrying all these on a tray and I thought if I drop these, I'll shoot myself. Okay. No, $35 is not the tribe discounted price. Please do not give the code out for the tribe because it's not good for everybody. You have to be a member, and yes, we check it. Okay, so this is one of them, and this is the other one. I'm doing both of these in the class. Okay, so you get both of this. Why don't I just do this? You get both of these. <gasps> Who said maybe? I just said maybe a mem member meetup in Oklahoma. I don't know how I physically said that with two wine glasses in my hand. <laughs> Donna, are you in there? Okay. Yes, I love that idea. Okay, so these are the two designs that you get, all right? And I do teach both of them. And while one's drawing, you're working on the other ones. Look at that. Okay, so this is what you get. Now, of course, I made the class. And then I, pa <laughs> and then I painted this one. So I'm going to be adding this later. I'm going to make this. I have to paint 14 more of these already. Um, this, these are sunflowers. So if you want to know how to paint this, I'll have that as an offering, just like as an add-on, because I didn't realize. I don't know. Okay? But these are them. Okay? I better stop fooling around with these, because I literally feel like I'm going to break them and I cannot afford to break anything. Uh, I do not have, okay, this is the question. I don't really wanna talk paint. I don't wanna answer questions. The supply list is given. I don't have a discount code to any of the paint companies. There are several paint companies. You can see everything I have to say about that. But good question otherwise. Okay, uh, does that answer all the questions? If you do, if you wanna be on the wait list, um, I, I'm gonna keep saying, October 28th, October 28th, because I think it's one of the ladies, I think it's God Tess, if she's here. She keeps saying, I can't wait to be a member, so we're doing something special. So for all of you, uh, this is the other thing about the glassware class that I want to say. It does not have to be wine glasses. I've had about 10 people who said, I don't drink wine. Not 10. I probably don't know 10 people who don't drink wine. I had two people who said they don't drink wine. I completely talk about that in the workshop and other alternatives to drinking wine. Okay. I said bourbon, vodka, martinis. No, I didn't. <laughs> you know what? If you can crack yourself up doing this, then I saw a guy. Okay. Oh, she is here. October 28th. And I know you're on the wait list. Yeah. Um, Andy just said, who knows me personally, that I am who I am just like on camera. <laughs> yeah, uh, a vase. There you go. I almost picked up vases for the Art and Wine Festival because somebody grows flowers right across the street. But I don't know. I think I'm buying too much stuff, and I'm not going to physically be able to paint it. it looks like my, my blinds are really heavy. 
Okay, so yeah, brown sugar. Oh, I'm doing flamingos on a bourbon class for somebody. Somebody, er, did I say bourbon class? A bourbon glass. He wants flamingos. I've never painted flamingos, but we'll see. All right, so there are other alternatives to drinking wine. I'm not really sure what they are, but people, there's a rumor out there that there is. But I'm going to an art and wine festival. It made sense to paint them on wine glasses. Okay. Did we talk enough about that? I am really excited about this class. And now I have about 10 other ideas. Nothing's gonna be safe from me painting. It's, it's, that's how I feel right now. Um, and and when, you uh, when you support an artist like myself, this just gives you the opportunity to bring more. Uh, yes, for those of you who drink virgin drinks, I'm totally in it. I'm drinking water, just so you know. 156 people. Well, thank you. Okay, so uh, I guess you're not here really to see me talk. So uh, who wants to know who won uh, the giveaway from Hannah Mule last week? I'll tell you at the end. Okay, let's draw. Let you guys... If you build it, they will come. If you build it, they will come. Hi, here's my drawing surface. Okay, so this is my idea. Remember, okay, I went to the beach this weekend. Let me tell you a little story. Let me just tell you a little story. Okay, so you can see me here. Oh, let me switch the cameras. Hold on. Sorry. I like to play musical cameras with you all. All right. So I went to the beach. That's why. I'm super laid back right now. It's funny because I'm looking to see if any of our winners, I know this morning one of my winners was there, but anyway, um, I went to the beach and I got away and I did not, I took my phone to take pictures, but I didn't answer work emails. I didn't answer people who were requesting more information about such and such. I did not work. I did draw, I drew this. And I drew this overlooking, I am a tease. <laughs> yep, when we're all done, you'll get to hear the winner. All right, so um, I want you all to know that you don't need a lot of supplies. I had a very small bag with me and I painted this uh, overlooking the bay and it was so freaking fantastic. It left me um, feeling invigorated and happy and that's what you're seeing here okay so I really hope I do have the winner here because I do have the winners I don't know if they're all here but I updated my camera and it now is super testy with the autofocus so if that gets out of hand just let me know and I'm gonna flip a little light on the subject so see, I do have an overhead light but I don't like to shine it on my face because then it's like I don't know. You liked the drawing. Okay, well that's helpful. All right. So today I didn't really, I don't really have a plan. What did Marianne say? Did I, should I have something prepped? Um, I want you all to go to the beach with me. It's, I mean, it's going to be awkward. And we did have to sign a waiver saying we were all like over a certain age, would not party, would not do anything on the balcony, and would be off of the balcony by 10 o'clock. But our neighbors were not off the balcony uh, by I love it how you're all saying, I'm here, the winner is here, the winner is here. All right, so, you know, um, I'm gonna just do a quick little drawing. Let's not overcomplicate this. If you do have any questions about the wait list or what's your artful journey, you might be wondering. Maybe you're not wondering that. You just want me to shut up and draw. Okay, well, if that's the case, I'll shut up and draw. All right, so this is a chisel tip Sharpie. Kimberly, I'll share that. How about next week? I will share my bag. I want to share all my bags. I will do that next week. Yes, we really did. We got an Airbnb and we had to sign um, no balcony partying, but our neighbors were balcony partying. Uh, we had to sign a thing saying we weren't going to party our butts off. And uh, we did, but we're all over 50, so partying our butts off meaning meant partying and then being in bed by... I don't know. I think I was in bed by 9 o'clock, <laughs> um, to be honest with you. Oh, 
All right. How about next week we unpack my bag? We unpack my bag. I can we I can talk about travel accessories, things that I bring with me, things I you know I don't know. Oh, that looks like a mouse. Snoopy needs to be exact. Uh, yes, there was day drinking. If you were wondering what I was doing, yes, there was day drinking. There was also you're going to bed early drinking. I had so much fun. We were celebrating like birthdays and retirement and I don't know what floor this is, but it looks like a handy one. Look at how happy that is. Oh well okay. did I leave enough room for two of them? Yes I did. <laughs> So it was really fun. It was really enjoyable to be away with two girlfriends, no kids. No kids even called me. I feel like I'm kind of in this, uh, I don't know, second phase of life because uh, one college kid might come home this weekend when he called me. We talked about voting. We talked. We had like an adult conversation, and he didn't actually call me to say he wanted anything. Is that normal? It's really fantastic. Anyway. Uh, I really was going to have two of these, but this marker is so giant that maybe there's now there's going to be another one over here somewhere. Yeah. I love me a big Sharpie. You know where this came from? Home Depot. I'm, I'm like the lady who buys um, Dots pretzels and what else do I buy at Home Depot? Uh, Sharpie markers and those big carpenter pencils just because I think they're cool to have behind my ear at work and everybody makes fun of me. Um, I don't think they're very convenient pencil but they do work great. <laughs> I bet you all didn't know that about me. I love a great big giant Sharpie. So I always, when I'm at Home Depot because I have to go for work all the time, I pick me up on They're going to wonder at work why I buy so many Sharpies. No. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. I love Home Depot. Oh my God. Dot pretzels. Can you just look me in the eye? Hold on. Look me in the eye and do not tell me how much I, you know where also sells Dot pretzels and now um, I'm addicted is uh, True Value. <laughs> the hardware store. I know, I'm addicted to Dutch pretzels. They're horrible. They're so delicious. If you guys don't know what Dutch pretzels are, look them up. Oh, the best. Okay. I'm just grabbing some watercolors. I'm not Nothing special. I have another bag to share with you. All right. Oh, I love Dutch. Oh, Dutch pretzels. If you've not had Dutch pretzels, please. Respond in if you've had them. I do not work for Dots Pretzels. I do not make any money off of Dots Pretzels. But if I did, I would be telling you. Yes, the Ace True Value has them. And they're like, I don't know. Do I want to even say how much the bag of pretzels is? Oh, I don't have very good water here. Okay, so we're going to talk organization next um, week. Oh, they're so delicious. Thank you for telling me how delicious they are. They really are delicious. I really should have drew, drew this second. I should have drawn, I should have just went for it with the background, but I didn't, so it's okay. We'll, we'll just, we'll just pretend I went for it, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just mindlessly create here. They're $5.99. Okay, so they're, they're as expensive everywhere is where I get them. I literally feel guilty I'm spending five or six or seven dollars on a bag of pretzels, but my daughter and I love them. Oh, I love, I love Ace Hardware. I used to go for a company that I worked for to their trade shows, and I got Johnny Bench's, um, Johnny Bench's autograph. He was a catcher, and um, it was so fun. That was a very 
very fun trade show. Oh my god! Can you go to their, Marianda said Dots pretzels are great. Can you tell me where they're made? I almost want to say like South Dakota or somewhere like, not where you think. <gasps> what are Dots pretzels? Oh my god. I don't know. Somebody describe them. They're like, they're salty goodness with like a flavor. They're hard to describe, right? Seasoned pretzels. Oh, I don't, yeah, I don't really eat a lot of Starbucks, so I drink, I guess you drink Starbucks, right? I'm a tea girl. I'm so boring. You guys, I did a three mile walk on the beach. I rode my bike. My girlfriend forgot her credit card. We had to ride back. It was so great. Thank you, North Dakota. Did I say South Dakota? Sorry, Dot. I think Dot is a real lady. She's on the back of the bag. Sorry, Dot. If you're watching, I didn't mean to offend you. Your pretzels are amazing. <gasps> You've never heard of them. You have to look them up. I know they are just, they're just goodness. Ooh, I'm getting these watercolors so wet. And... Okay. You're going to hate me, though, because if you have them, it's like you can't have one and, I don't know, I'm hiding them from my daughter right now. Don't tell her that. Mm -hmm. Yes, your drawings can be very simple. Yes, okay, I, w I said, I think I said South Dakota, but it is North Dakota. Thank you for correcting me. We should give credit where credit is due, right? Oh, I don't want boring. I don't want boring right now. You cannot eat one. The whole bag. The whole bag. I try to let them last a few days. I have actually have to stop getting them. I, I, I do sound like a dots pusher right now. I gotta stop because seriously, um, I have to stop buying which is what I have to do. Because right now, I am going to be going on a I'm going to be going back to eating and running and all that other crap. <laughs> um, April, I would love to go to Montana. I do have a like a 30-year deal with my college boyfriend that if things don't pan out for either one of us, <laughs> we'll end up in Montana. There's a song that addresses that situation. <laughs> Who is it, Donnie Marie? Yeah. I'll let you know. I'll keep you posted. You can get Dots pretzels at, no, they are not soft pretzels. They are not soft. Yes. I don't even know how to describe them now that I am being forced to describe them. They're so good. There we go. I love I love that everybody knows my poor choices of music here. I don't know really what we're drawing tonight. No, oh, I don't really want that one to be the same color, do I? No, it's boring. Dan something. Who's the other person? Meet me in Montana. Come on. Not really an orange person, but. Uh, I'm not gonna, sh they don't make this brush anymore. I don't know what size it is. It's a watercolor brush. It's a size 12. Sorry, I don't think they make this brush anymore, and it's uh, not my typical brush. So I'm, I don't know what I'm drawing right now. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though. I think it's going to be a little bit of a mess. <laughs> I said I was going to keep it simple, but now I feel like I want to do more to it. Sorry, I'm just going to lay that down because that got all wet. Just blotting up the extra.
All right. Now should we do with the background? All right. I really want something. I think I've used like three. I always say keep it simple and then I'm using uh oh, am I missing an? You're right. I am missing an orange petal. Well, I'll be dipped. I am using. Look at this bad boy. There you are. You are so right. I don't know where that goes, but it's in there. Let's go ahead and do that too. Okay. All right. I'm no longer missing that. Thank you. There are like two colors in here that I really like. Let me just see where they are. All right. Hmm. Golly, I love the. Golly, I love Wednesday nights. Anybody else love them as much as I do? I hope some of you are, well, I hope all of you are. Um, first off, you know I don't do this just to watch myself paint because I could do that in bed alone. I really um, hope you guys are drawing. I hope this is making you get your markers or your whatever out and do stuff with them. I always kind of forget to mention that, but the answer is yes, you should be joining me. Okay, I don't know if I've said that before over and over, but you are always invited to draw along with me. Wednesdays are free, of course, and I just pop in here to inspire you to do something. You don't have to, um, and if you do, I love to see it. This is a watercolor journal. I, I am nearly done with this book, and it's been ugh, another awesome chapter of fun. Um, I will be sharing the whole book once it is done. I'm drawing every time I get a chance, like now. Oh, thank you. You know, every time somebody sends me a message and it says, because of you, I picked up a pen. Because of you, I... Uh, it's just great news. It's just great news. Mm -hmm. Now I got that dang song in my head. Because of you, I'm painting on aprons. Because of you, I painted on my husband's back last night. Um, I'm still here and don't worry, don't worry. Don't forget that when I'm undone, I'm going to announce the three winners of the Hana Mule, um, uh, what are those things? Zigzag journals? I don't know what they're called in there. I think I'm just going to keep going in here and just switching the colors. Whoops. Whoops. You do like this? It looks like a three-year-old painted it. <laughs> this looks like something I could do with a class of three-year-olds. Hey, everybody. Draw happy. I love it, though. It's kind of my mood. Sometimes you can't force anything different than what's in your brain. Originally, there were going to be three flowers, but I think originally I thought my paper was larger. <laughs>
So if you see, sometimes I'm taking, oops, sorry, I'm taking this little paper towel thing. I'm just wiping because I'm, you know, I just noticed a lot of water starting to pound up. It's not a big deal, but. I always love to paint with you. Well, you know what? I love painting with you as well. Sometimes I just like to go back in and just deepen the colors. Like, I want it to be rich and vibrant and colorful and Really not all that crazy about red, but so I am tonight. Yes. Well, you know if I'm gonna do that, I'm probably gonna have to go back in and make the orange a little more orange. I guess I did want it to be bright and bold. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. All right, put all these away. Darlene just said, I'm not sure I would have ever tried painting had I not met you in the 24-hour art party. Well, you know what, Darlene? You just... That makes me feel very special. If you can spread creativity... Personally, I think it's the best thing to spread. <laughs> I just was thinking how dirty of other things. <laughs> you, you don't want to spread diseases, germs. <laughs> Why do I feel like my brain's going to a bad place? Okay. All right, put the paintbrush down, Tracy. Let's carry on. Oh, gal, I know. You know what? I should be asking how long some of you maybe have known me or if you've met me or did you take a class or did you meet me in an art party? Did you meet me at a party? <laughs> did you? You know what? Don't answer that in case any of my college friends are listening to this. Particularly that one fraternity. No, I'm kidding. I get wasn't really. <laughs> All right, let's get, oh boy, I got a lot of stuff in there. Oh, Amy Bell. Speaking of Jelly Arts, they were live today. I'm trying to think. Well, I'll be on live Friday at the Art Supply Warehouse. Um, wow, that was at the beginning of... Oh, sorry, i got to tighten up my chair. because If I don't, I'm going to roll and fall backwards, and all you're going to hear is a thump, and somebody's going to have to call 911. Oh, my cow. Jackie, thank you. So do not forget, you can be making wine glasses and all that other good stuff. Oh, my God. Okay, Patty, I love it. Patty, 2016, when... <laughs> For the record, Patty, I wasn't trying to pick you up. I just thought you had really pretty eyes, and you were so cute. I'm sorry, Christina. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't trying to pick you up, and I did find out you were married. I was not trying to pick her up. I just thought she was stunningly beautiful. Like, pay a girl a compliment, and look what happens. No. Mixed Media Monday. Oh, my God. Are you ever? That is so fantastic. You guys, it's so great. I have known some of you for a very long time. This, okay, so I don't really, I, I never like to leave stuff, of course, because I just don't. 
Like, I'm not convinced. Like, I don't know why, but those have to be blackened in. They're bugging me. <laughs> oh, I get my notifications for... All right. Patty, so funny. So true, though. I mean, she's not really far off. I did look like a stalker person. All right. told me to stick it up my room blow dryer. <laughs> I am so, that's so funny. You know, I once told my one, my friend that I was at the beach with, her funny story of meeting what, me was, she asked me what I did for a living and I told her I was a pole dancer and she believed me. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with it in case I have any pole dancing friends here. Oh my God. To this day, she says, I, I actually believe that I did that. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't say how you met me. It was like, what weird place did you meet, Tracy? It is a true story. I remember that now. And I remember the exact freaking elevator. It, it was Hoop. Is, is, is that what it was called? I think it was called Hoop. That was in Ohio. I remember the exact elevator. Okay. I gotta stop joking like stuff like that because it's really gonna get me in trouble one day. So this is just a Sharpie, if you are wondering. Oh, I love this. If you notice too, I'm just you know, when you vary up the colors of paints here. I love it when, like, this is this is a design that I think would be, um, was there a pole on the elevator? That would be really good for kids. And so um, I just, I, I always think, like, yeah, it looks like I could paint, like, a, I don't know, third grader. But if you have children in your life, especially those that have to stay home right now, it's not the worst case scenario to be drawing with them. Yes, the, the escalators were always packed. Okay, I don't really want to do too much to this. I really don't. But I do want to get a stamp pad. This is sometimes a little. I like to dart. If I like to, if the I like to like kind of just come in and darken. This is just a stamp pad. This is an archival stays on, like stamp pad. I am really going for some, oh, you love my flowers. Well, I love your flowers too. That's sweet. I know it looks like something a kid could grow, but that, there's a reason for that. And yeah, I am using my finger. Look at that. It's the best utensil you have. You guys, no matter how I met you, or even if I haven't met you, thanks for being in my life. I literally said to somebody, how do I get so lucky? Oh, Jennifer says I teach second grade. Healthy for them, the families, and me. Look at this. Well, here you go. Now, if you wonder, too, how I get this all off my hands, I, if anybody has a scrub daddy, you guys know what those scrub daddy is? It was on, um, it was on, um, come on, Shark Tank. Uh, I use that to wipe my hands, so that will go away. But it's not unusual for me to look like I was just giving my um, fingerprint in prison. So <sighs> this is the Ranger one. I... I like it because it resists all the water and stuff that I tend to put in my projects. You guys, I love it. You know, I'm just, I'm just, just making it a little bit darker. 
Oh, Ruth said, you met me at the Ramona Art and Wine Festival. I mean, Wine Festival. Okay, we'll meet, we'll meet me if it goes away. Ruth, I hope you're going to come to um, uh, da, 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 the Art and Wine Festival. And I will be at Ramona Art and Wine, like Ramona, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'll be at Ramona Ranch Winery, my dear. All right. I don't really know. Like, I was thinking, oh, I'll do dots. I'll do something. I'll do something. Like, I don't even really want to, like, I, I don't even really want to. Linda, Linda meets me at our home away from home every Sunday. <laughs> Not intentionally by accident. Bye, Hitomi. All right, what do I do? Do I just leave it? Do I add these big, obnoxious white dots? Do I sneeze on this? Do I... I literally don't want to do anything to it. I really don't. Sometimes you just got to know. Sometimes you've got to leave it. I don't want to do anything to it. And it's so basic. Hmm. All right. I'm going to do something against my better judgment. I know I was thinking dots, but I'm actually thinking I'm going to do this. This might be boring to watch, so. And if you can't see what I'm doing... Hold on, I can zoom in a little bit. Maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit. I love it when I start doing stuff and then people yell, leave it! No, I'm kidding. Uh, I'm going to do this as fast as I possibly can. The other thing I might do is just put a different design in every petal. You know, let's do that. What do I tell you all the time? Go for it. I mean, it's my own drawing. It's my own thing. It's my practice. I wasn't really ready to end. Okay, it's 618. I have to. Okay. Okay. So do 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 Okay. Uh everyone's gonna have a different design. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to do it and finish it in two minutes, she says. Okay. Sorry, I will put some more light on this and I'll hold it up. When I'm done, it's so dark. I know, I'm sorry. I love when somebody says, it's just a piece of paper. I will try to uh, uh, know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away, and know when to run. Is that what you're trying to say to me? Hmm, maybe I should have listened. No. But it's way more fun when I don't. I don't even know what this design is. Hmm. Sorry, I'm just adding like a bunch of geometric random shapes. Just something. Hmm. I don't know when to hold them, fold them, be done with it. Nope. I don't like things to be real boring. So here we go. I will hold it up. I'm sorry. This is probably, there we go. Can you see some of that better? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, how about 
out little uh, flames that are coming out of it. Little flames. Okay. Okay. Two more petals. Two more petals. She says, um, I, I'm running out of designs in my head. Circles, squares, uh, straight lines. And the last thing are zigzags or lightning. Okay. Yeah, you know, wasn't really that great. Didn't add that much. But you know what? It just made me happy. And I'm not going to even touch the rest. Because why? Because I don't have to. And because it's my drawing and I don't have to. All right, I, it's so, somebody just said, I, it's hard to know when to stop. You know what? Sometimes you know when to stop when, you know, uh, well, first off, sometimes I know when to stop when I'm in bed and the book falls on my chest and I wake up in the morning and I realize it was time to stop about a half an hour before. Plus, I have to paint wine glasses tonight because I have somebody picking up a bunch of them tomorrow. Got to get my... Heart. You know what this needs? Oh my god, I know what it needs. I'm going to tear this, uh, I'm going to take this off, and then I'm going to show you what it needs. Maybe it needs. I don't know if it needs it yet, but hold on. I almost feel like it should have a really thick border, but maybe not. I know about 10 things I could have added to this, but it's already time, and I always promise this is going to be a light and easy demo. So if it's going to be a light and easy demo, I should keep my word. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Okay, I love that. I love that. No, it doesn't need anything. All right. It just doesn't need anything. And if it doesn't need anything, I'm going to come back so I can show it to you upright. I'm going to announce the winners, and then I'm going to, oh, look at that. Put a little light on it. Okay. It's done. It's my doodle and I step when I want to, step when I want to, step when I want to. You would stop doodling if you were me too. Okay, done. Okay? Thank you for that, Pam. You didn't. Now, for those of you who are getting a little antsy over this, which I'll show you my craziness. Here it comes. Ready? Are you ready for my craziness? Um, you all didn't know I knew that. Okay, so my watercolors, my watercolors made a little because mm -mm -mm, it got underneath there, and I just cannot handle that. So, just so you know, I'm taking a little paintbrush and a little bit of gesso. That's just white gesso, and I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna erase it, and it was like it never existed. You could also take like a baby wipe and since it's a watercolor and just wipe it away, but it just kind of makes me happy that I don't have that there. So I know that's just me, uh, but that's me, okay? Because I would look at that every time and be like, mm, don't like that, don't like how I can see that. All right. So I did pick the winners, and if you are a winner, do you ever have a problem with the painter's tape tearing your paper? Uh, not really, because I've learned that you get what you pay for, Jamie, in the painter's tape. So if you have a more inexpensive brand, sometimes they really stick or they really don't stick. So I stick with kind of your major blue brand. Not going to even say what it is. And I have some really good luck. Sometimes people say you can take like a heat gun or a hair dryer up to it. I've had that go both ways. I've taken the heat gun or the hair dryer to it, and it's uh, stuck more because it, the glue got more gluey. Uh, but sometimes it just pulls away easier. Okay? There you go. All right. So here are the winners. Um, I did random pick. I actually put all the names in a little hat, and I said to my daughter, hey, can you pick these three names out? I wrote them down, called it a day. So please, uh, you can file a complaint with my daughter. Here we go. The winners are, and if I if I crud up your last name, 
I probably should post these somewhere. I'll try to go back into the comments and just notify the person. Uh, and I would just love for you to send your email address to me. No, don't send me your email address. That'll do no good. You can email me with your physical address because otherwise I can't hook a homing pigeon to your email and send it. The winner of the Hannah Mule three journals from last week, three different winners, are Lenore Ruda, R-E, no, R-U-E-D-A. I'll probably just go contact them because I don't even know if they're here. Uh, Lori Silver and Donna Biango Worthy. There's about seven Donnas going, huh? Okay. Leon, Lenore, I, I know I'm butchering these names. So my last name's Weinzettel. Well, I've been butchered all my life. So Lenore Ruda, um, yes. Uh, Lori Silver, L-A-U-R-I-E. And, oh, Lenore, are you here? Oh, Bingo. Okay, send me an email, babe, or just a message, or just a homing pigeon. In, info at your... Oh, good. Our, uh, no, I don't know what my email address is. Info at Tracy Wine Zaffle. No. Okay, just get somehow get a hold of me. Okay, we did have two. Uh, I don't know if we have all the winners here, but thank you. That was lovely. Good. That worked out lovely. I need your physical addresses to um, send to our to my people at Hannah Mule who are going to send you those albums direct. So you each want a zigzag album. I would like to congratulate you and thank you. Now, don't send your e email address here or your physical address here. Please send me an email. You can send it message, whatever. I'll forward it on to them. Please don't give it here because then you might be giving it to strangers. Yeah, email me. Thank you. Okay, so um, congratulations. Now, I know all of you were doing this. Hmm. You know, like when the, at the Golden Globes where everybody's like, oh, hmm. yeah, not my name. Okay, we're going to do more giveaways. I love to give stuff away. I've always loved to give stuff away, and I'm going to give more stuff away. And I already had some other companies that stepped up and said they would let me give stuff away. So if you were all doing the fake... I totally get it. <laughs> Especially if your name was Donna, and I went, Donna B something... <laughs> Listen, I'm real too, and I really do have feelings. Where can you purchase the zigzag uh, and postcards? Uh, go to my Hannah Mule post on my blog, and I listed uh, some sellers and how you contact them. I think Amazon. That's your answer. <laughs> Where else can you buy the world? Amazon. All right. So uh, thank you all for the uh, – I did hear the applause from here. Donna Levine's like, oh, look. <laughs> okay, if your name was Donna, I sincerely apologize because that took a long time to get out. Okay, um, so here's what we learned tonight. Here's what we learned. Keep it simple, basic shapes, summer, like just, it doesn't have to be complicated. If, if It's like, you know, you're sitting down to draw. Uh, that's the way things go. All right, are we done? If you're not on my wait list, April 28th is when you want to be on my wait list because we're going to make a little announcement. If you want to learn how to paint wine glasses uh, just like me and everything I use to do and what I'm doing with it, down to your paintbrush and also some oddball little supplies that you have on hand in your kitchen. All you got to do is sign up. I gave the link. It's on my workshop. It's an early release. The price goes up next week, and it's added into the shop like everything else. If you are part of my tribe, yes, you get the discount, and I think I answered everything. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart because if you guys didn't join here and support what I'm doing, I'd have no reason to show up, and I would probably just be sitting in my bed right now, but that's fine. Where do you go to see you on the Jelly Arts Project? Okay, that will be Friday. Mm, I don't know how to share that.
That will be Friday at the Art Supply Warehouse. I posted the information on my blog. See what's happening or your morning orange juice glasses. Thank you, Laura, for the fix. Um, Art Supply Warehouse is who is hosting me along with Jelly Arts. And, um, yeah, go to Hanamiel. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. On behalf of the company, not Amazon. Thank you. I'm sorry. I, you're right, Jennifer. Uh, I love it when people make everything easy. Thank you, Tracy. Have a wonderful night. Jamie, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Danielle, thank you. Okay, guys, this all goes to my uh, YouTube channel when we're done. Uh, so if you missed any segment or part of tonight, you want to fast forward. Um, the other thing is I do turn this into a small little video where I fast forward it and put a little music to it, and it makes it seem a lot more fun. All right. Um, anything else? Hello to those just joining us. We're about to end. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, I will see you all next weekend. I think next weekend we're going to un uh, unpack this bad boy. And I have another bag that I want to share that was custom made for me, but this is the bag I took to the beach over the weekend, and it had my face masks, all my fun stuff in it, so I will share that. Plus, it has my name on it. Okay, so I'll talk to you all next week, um, if not before. Uh, I think I've got to go paint wine glasses, and I haven't even eaten dinner, okay? Anything else? Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'm so happy I made you laugh. Thank you. All right. I'll see you all next Wednesday, if not before. And if you guys want, don't forget, sign up for the wine glass class. Hope you won't forget it or your orange juice class. Okay? Nighty night. Talk to you all soon.